Uh, my name is Mohamed Sleep. I am the Chief Digital Officer at Aramex. Aramex is a comprehensive logistics and a transportation solutions provider. Um, the company grew and quickly grew into a global brand, operating in 65 countries, um, and we have 15,000 employees globally. Our services evolved over the years uh, to include express courier delivery, uh, both domestic and international, uh, freight forwarding services, uh, warehouse management, supply chain, and e-commerce. Uh, well, Aramex has always been perceived as an innovator in the region uh, and an agile operator, able to um, manage the constant change and address the rapid pace of, uh, of the market demands and customer requirements. And we've also been known as a tech enabler in the region, uh, able to customize solutions and tailor uh, to our customer needs. And of course, our vision is always to continue to offer a seamless delivery and logistics experience connecting uh, the globe. So over the years, um, we've seen the industry go through a significant amount of change, um, primarily driven by the growth of e-commerce, which really challenged the fundamentals of the traditional supply chain. And while Aramex continues to compete with the traditional operators, uh, we started competing with uh, a new breed of competition of last mile companies and uh, digital uh, operators that are disrupting the industry. So Aramex must take advantage of leading digital technologies and most importantly, uh, really capitalize on large uh, data sets that we have in our landscape to drive innovation and efficiency uh, in our last mile processes, which effectively would have a direct impact on the customer experience. So uh, uh, we've launched a, a large enterprise uh, transformation program um, and we have taken really a conscious decision to position machine learning and AI capabilities at the core of our transformation strategy and really to secure our competitive edge in our core markets. And, uh, and obviously I've always said that Aramex is, a, is, a, is primarily a data company that does logistics. So, so if you imagine uh, in, in geographies where we have the biggest last mile infrastructure, we have really touched almost every household and uh, we've delivered a package for every single individual, right? In these communities to a large extent. So we, have, we do have a lot of data about, uh, about our consumers and uh, things like uh, last mile preferences, uh, consumer buyer trends, uh, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of data that can really add value uh, to, to the last mile process and effectively improve uh, customer experience. So clearly we, we were looking for the best platforms and technologies uh, to build the Aramex data lake. Uh, and obviously AWS was the, was the platform of choice. And we've partnered with, uh, with in Wisdom to build one of the biggest data lakes uh, in the region uh, today. So we had to look for the best uh, in class uh, in the ecosystem of talent uh, uh, on the AWS technology stack. So we are uh, primarily leveraging the Amazon powered by Intel processors to deploy AI and uh, machine learning in multiple areas of the business, including last mile enablement, um, customer experience, um, consumer intelligence and predictions, uh, forecasting uh, and capacity planning. And the whole investment uh, was meant to reduce uh, the dependency on the manually intensive uh, processes that we have on the ground and the traditional processes that, uh, uh, that could potentially uh, uh, become a bit more efficient and to automate uh, uh, to a large extent the decision-making process uh, uh, across all levels of the business. In addition to that, uh, we, uh, we were focused on solving the last mile industry problems, uh, including address management, uh, volatility in volumes, uh, and the seasonality of the e-commerce business and many other uh, problems that we wanted to solve for. We'd like to believe uh, that we are uh, uh, one of the leading machine learning companies uh, in the region running on uh, AWS and uh, Intel. Um, um, and some of the statistics around our, our big data infrastructure, uh, we do have uh, around 10.2 terabytes of data that is stored in the lake uh, today. We've deployed uh, almost 10 uh, uh, machine learning use cases that are running on uh, the Intel instances. So we have around 1 million uh, predictions uh, made every day um, in, in these use cases. Uh, and and some, uh, sometimes it can go up to 4 million in peak seasons. So we do ingest on average 1.5 million uh, records uh, of real-time tracking events um, every 15 minutes on this data lake. Uh, and of course, the average response time is around 125 milliseconds 
uh, uh, that really powers uh, these uh, model deployments. Uh, leveraging the power of AI and machine learning, we were able to rapidly achieve results, uh, and we have seen some incredible transformations um, uh, in our core business. Uh, so, for example, we've been able to geocode uh, almost 85% of the descriptive addresses that are injected uh, into our landscape, specifically in core markets like uh, the UAE and, uh, and Saudi Arabia, where there's a lack of a proper address management structure uh, within these markets. Um, uh, where we have been able to uh, achieve um, a, a lot of value uh, in enabling and powering uh, the driver journey uh, and, the, and control the upstream process of, uh, of the driver capability. And we have also seen an increase uh, uh, in the out for driver success rates as a result. Um, and we've also, uh, of course, been able to accurately and dynamically predict uh, transit times and fulfillment uh, timeframes which uh, are empowering uh, really our consumers with real-time tracking events and tracking information, which we expose in our digital touch points uh, in real time, reducing the number of customer service calls uh, that we're seeing in the uh, inbound call centers. Uh, and we've been able to really reduce uh, uh, the inbound calls uh, by around 40% while we continue to grow uh, uh, and scale uh, uh, these services. So while we've seen an increase in the number of shipments, we've been able to reduce on the number of uh, uh, contact center capacity that we have on the ground. Well, I believe data will continue to drive a lot of um, how we approach our business uh, today. And um, with the increased dependency on data in an AI-driven uh, uh, world, machine learning capabilities will be key to our success in the future. Um, and ultimately being um, uh, competitive and remaining competitive in, in the transport and logistics industry has never really been more complex. Um, and, saying, uh, and, and, key, and staying profitable comes only with, with a true um, uh, technology-driven efficiency, right? And luckily, uh, new innovations in AI and machine learning uh, are really providing the industry a huge advantage and access to advanced tools uh, needed to solve uh, the biggest problems in the last mile uh, industry today. Hi, I'm Phil Bassard. I work for InWisdom and I'm our Head of Solution Engineering. In wisdom, our machine learning, AI, and data analytics specialists that work um, out of the UK and across the Europe and the Middle East. We are an AWS Premier Partner, and we help customers unlock the latent value contained within their data by taking their data and building machine learning models and productionizing them onto AWS using Intel-based instances. So recently we worked on the Amex project. For Amex, we are hoping with their digital transformation that will look into their optimizing their last mile, improving their customer service, and making and empowering their e-commerce platform. We helped to achieve this with them by building their digital core. And at the digital core, they have a data lake and they have a machine learning architecture that allows us to give them the data they need to build their models and a architecture to deploy those models rapidly into production so that they can get embedded in their business and unlock that value. A good example of one of these use cases we did with them recently is the transit time use case. The transit time use case predicts the amount of time it takes to ship a shipment across the international borders, so from one side of the world to another side of the world, or within national borders, so from one city to the other. And we powered this all by using Intel-based instances such as the C5 to do millions of predictions a day, and we've seen picks of up to 4 million. And we also use the Intel instances to train over 600 hours of model training time to make those models continuously be up to date and give accurate and um, meaningful predictions back to the Amex business. We were able to achieve such amazing results for Amex by using AWS and Intel as the powerhouse behind the workload and the expertise from Inner Wisdom. This has now led us to expand our work with Amex. We are now delivering multiple use cases, and that will continue over the next couple of years as part of their digital transformation journey. And AWS, Inner Wisdom, and Intel are at the heart of doing that for Amex. Mm -hmm.